Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This will be for any Pisces placement or pregnancy that is important to you. Contact information, personal reading information, any jewelry seen in the video, all will be linked on my website in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles just to see what other guidance you can get for the week. And I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. This reading is also aimed for the second week of February, although time is not linear. We are all on different timelines. This could have happened yesterday, maybe happening now, may happen tomorrow. Jumping right in, what do we have for Pisces? Very quiet, Pisces. Very, very quiet. Who are we not speaking to? Who are we giving the silent treatment to? Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? Come on. Say it. Say what you got to say. Very, very silent. Ten of Cups. What else for Pisces? Sorry, I just zoned out for a minute. Pisces. Come on. Okay. Pisces. Hmm. <laughs> I just heard omission of the truth. Omission of the truth. Okay, okay, beautiful energy. What else? One more for Pisces, please. Okay, this week, Pisces, bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands, fire sign energy. I also see Queen of Wands, so definitely could be dealing with a fire sign. Fire season could be significant, or this is just the energy that you're harnessing right now. Some some fiery, passionate, passionate, go get it, get her done, creative sort of energy. Sagittarius energy, specifically with the Knight of Wands, somebody that is very fun, but not very, uh, they don't stay around too long. In and out sort of energy. You could be dealing with someone like this. You could be harnessing this energy. But someone that's a great time. But Mr. Right Now or Mrs. Right Now sort of energy. Not forever, right? Not Mr. Right, but Mrs. My, Mr. and Mrs. Right Now. <laughs> In your past position, the Ten of Cups and the Tower card. Major Arcana for Scorpio energy. So definitely so for some of you, something has ended here. Some sort of long-term emotionally uh thing something that uh the relationship okay some sort of long-term relationships that maybe suddenly ended for you or someone you're maybe connected to could be this knight of wands whoever that is but something that was invested in for a very long time here ten of cups something you saw the potential to go the distance suddenly came crashing down suddenly blew up suddenly you know started to fall apart but all for good reason because that tower puts us right where we need to be so this is you whatever ending or you know, sudden eruption or, or falling apart. It was absolutely meant to be, right? Okay. Present position, Queen of Wands and the Empress. So, <laughs> very interesting. Uh, two court cards here. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. The Empress, Major Arcana for Libra and Taurus. Could be relevant to you. So, I'm clearly seeing this as a wife and a side bitch. Excuse my French excuse my french excuse my french right the wife and the side woman there's definitely multiple people involved makes sense why we have this knight of wands showing up right could be this definitely this knight of wands that maybe has recently got out of some long-term relationship if not a marriage like you know living together kids together sort of thing someone they have children with share a home with at one point that has recently ended this could be why they're in this sort of not really settled energy right looking for some fun but not nothing too serious or not nothing too uh, deep because of this ending that they have recently experienced. But if you are coming in as this um, Queen of Wands, whoever you are, whichever role you play, there's definitely a king. There's definitely multiple people here. OK, I definitely see one situation ending. This doesn't necessarily have to be cheating or a third party, but energetically it's going to register as that. Right. Especially if some people have kids together. 
But um, the Ten of Cups and the Tower card is telling me definitely something has ended here. And someone has their eye on something else. Someone else. Okay, you could have recently got it out of something. And there's someone else you definitely have your eye on. Someone that definitely sparks some interest. Some, someone that definitely excites you or, you know, you excite them. However, it goes. Someone that is extremely attracted to you as well. Someone definitely had some type, type of breakup here. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. That's energy of loss. Okay. I do also see Six of Pentacles. Someone that was giving too much. It wasn't a balanced situation. That's why it ended. And someone seems to have their eye on something new. Queen of Wands here. Someone that is very attractive, very magnetic, very intuitive, very creative. A force to be reckoned with, male or female. In your future energy, Seven of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. So definitely there could be a little bit of deception associated with the situation. Maybe not everything is being said. I did hear, um, what's that word? What, what did I say earlier? Omission of the truth. So maybe this person didn't tell you that they recently got in out of some sort of long-term relationship. Definitely could be the case, right? Because maybe you would think you're, you're the rebound, right? But uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, someone is very focused on work here. Someone wants to put in the work. Maybe in the past they were a Knight of Wands energy. That could also definitely be the case too. Someone had the past energy. This could be someone you had a brief interaction with, right? Maybe it was directly after whatever situation they were in ended and they didn't tell you that they just got out of something fresh because at the time they were not ready to invest. But definitely there's some sort of uh, work that wants to be put in in this future energy. Eight of Pentacles is putting in the work, doing something day in, day out, putting the, the, the effort, time, energy that anything, a job, a, a relationship, you know, your body, whatever it requires in order to get the stability or create consistency, right? Let's see what the oracles have to say. Yeah, someone that's probably been watching you since you guys have not been talking because I do, it did take a long time for those cards to come out. So there's definitely some sort of no communication now. Maybe once you found out about this situation thing, this past situation. Whoa, that flew out. Step out of your comfort zone. This could be for whoever just recently got out of this uh, long-term situation. This could definitely be what's getting ready to happen. Some of these are getting ready to invest. Uh, invest a lot more than they did in the past. Because you being the queen of wands, there's definitely... Um, attraction there extreme attack attraction and it definitely seems like you're attracted to this person as well you both are coming up as fire signs but there is some sort of baby mama or ex-wife or ex-person that someone's been with for a very long time definitely could be 10 years or more what do we have for pisces most important messages for pisces play have fun celebrate don't be so serious that's very funny because that's pretty much what the knight of wands is is all about having fun and not being so serious right that could be what this person is about maybe your guidance is to loosen up a bit let things take its course naturally what else do we have for pisces or if you are looking for fun then this is probably the ideal situation because not everybody wants a serious relationship some people just want companionship right now while they you know stag spirit take the lead Number 58. So definitely someone's being guided back to the situation. If this was a brief encounter or even a one night stand, definitely looks like it might end up being more than that. Definitely looks like it might end up being more than that. But step out of your comfort zone. Play. Take the lead. That is your reading I have for you this week, Pisces. Hopefully that resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. And I will see you all next week.